What's up guys, Invader1 here again and this time we are talking about the Alliance Infiltrated Unit. She is awesome, she has moves, she's got curves, she's a little sexy, and I guess we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. So, now, in regards to her guys, I actually did have some gameplay on the first night. Um, I thought it was decent, it was okay, I did it on Firebase Hazard, uh, Firebase White Hazard, and you couldn't see half the enemies, you know, it was somewhat decent gameplay but I'm kinda glad I didn't upload it because the gameplay that I'm gonna show you guys now is absolutely ridiculously insane uh, as you guys already know I'm pretty really really good with the claymore um, I've gotten really well with this gun and I love it very very much you guys are gonna see some amazing claymore gameplay and I'm also gonna talk about the build guys I went with a no fitness build with this with, with the, our snow bunny our hot fang <laughs> And, um, you, you know, you may be thinking, well, in Platinum, really, would that work? It does work because of Repair Matrix. So she, her build is actually quite simple, but let's go into it, and I'm going to tell you guys why I went with this build. For a Tactical Cloak, I always go for damage in Rank 4, guys. I know some of you would like Duration to last a little longer, protect yourselves a little bit. If that's the way you want to go, that's fine. I like the additional 80% damage bonus so that when I am cloaking and I'm shooting my shotgun, it's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. For rank 5, I always go for recharge speed because I, if, you know, unless you're doing a melee build, there's no need forever to use melee damage. For rank 6, this is what makes her unique. She's a shotgun-based character. Look at this, shotgun damage. So... Shotguns fired during cloak do 25% more damage. So in other words, you don't just have the 80% uh, tactical cloak damage bonus. You now have an additional 25%. That's that's 105% damage bonus if you are using a shotgun, which is absolutely amazing. So I definitely recommend shotguns with her. For snap freeze, damage is absolutely amazing on snap freeze, but I like you going for reach. Uh, you got a 15 meter range, which is great on platinum, especially when they you know you got a lot of you got a lot of boss enemies coming at you. You're not going to always want to be in their face uh, all the time. Uh, for rank 5, this is great because you debuff the enemies with Cryo Explosion and they can take more damage by 10%. And rank 6, another debuff, which is increase the damage by 40% and weaken armor targets by an additional 25%, which you definitely need for Platinum and you definitely need for Gold when it comes to the boss enemies. So that is the way to actually... Um, build up your snap freeze in my opinion now repair matrix there's different ways to build repair matrix guys and I will talk a little bit about what repair matrix does how to go about it how to use it and that's kinda why I'm excited to actually show you guys this gameplay because yeah I you know I show exactly you know how it can help you out shields restored that's what I go from rank 4 if you feel like you need more survivability then go for that but I I personally I, I wanna have more shields restored to me so I go for that uh, rank 5 I go for more charges because I don't always want to use a shock trooper upgrade. Um, sometimes I may want to use some some other kind of uh, gear bonus, uh, like the Geth Hunter Vision, uh, the, the the you know that kind of new gear bonus or any other kind of gear bonus that I want. And I want to make sure that at least I have enough charges. This gives me three um, already on the character. Duration is decent. If you feel that hey you need you need duration on it so that to make sure that you're constantly surviving and the, the, the repair matrix gets you back up then this is the way to go personally I feel a little bit more confident with the character so I go for more charges rank 6 enhance repair matrix this is the way to go for me but again if you feel like I'm platinum or on gold that you, you know if you get dropped and you get back up and your character's just getting killed immediately um, and you don't feel as confident then go for lasting repair matrix which it gives you you know you could take 75 percent less damage for five seconds and it you know it actually helps you out on shackled AI this is very important I went for damaging capacity that was a mistake uh, I actually meant to go for increased weapon damage bonus because she's pretty much weapons based um, power damage on rank 5 that's uh, that's not the way I'm going I'm going for headshots because I actually like to use the claymore and do headshots on marauders and, and quite a few other enemies and you'll see that in this gameplay and weapon damage for rank 6 that is the way to go guys for the weapons I mean it's kind of obvious she's a shotgun based and um, character I'm going with the claymore because again you guys know I love the claymore now the shotguns that I do recommend for her are number one Venom shotgun, excellent, absolutely amazing, so good on her, it is so good, okay, so that's one, the Piranha is decent, it's okay, the Riga Carbine is also good, the Claymore is like my number one choice, the Crusader, I, you know, I, I, a lot of you guys like it, I, I'm okay with it, I'm not a big fan, but 
you know, it's also a good shotgun on her. And you don't have to worry about recharge speed. You see that negative? It, you don't have to worry about recharge speed with her. It's going to be the same with the tactical cloak, so don't even worry about it. Do not use the disciple on her. Even though, I mean, if you create a melee build, maybe, but, you know, it's, you, you know, don't, don't use it. The eviscerator, if this is all you have and you're playing silver and bronze, that's fine, but not for, like, gold and platinum. You're, you'll get really hurt. The Growl Spike Door is decent. Do not recommend it, though. I recommend the Raider for sure. The Raider's really good on her. Another shotgun that's great on her is the Wraith. And the Geth Plasma shotgun will always be good with every character, so obviously it's good with her. But I would say my highest recommendations are the Wraith, uh, the Ra AT Raider, the the Claymore, and obviously the Venom Shotgun. Yes, also the Riga Carbine and the Piranha, but I will definitely go with the Venom Shotgun or the Claymore and um, the Wraith and the AT Raiders, the highest recommendations. Now, let's go into... Uh, I want to go into the gameplay really quickly, but at the same time, I want to tell you guys, I go for the kind of pistols I go for in this gameplay are is the Acolyte. Uh, that is fine. It's only because I'm playing Platinum. But you know you don't you don't even need a secondary of playing gold or silver or bronze. Uh, the kind of gear bonuses you want to go for is shock trooper upgrade, shotgun rail lap, cyclonic mod, and armor piercing rounds or warp rounds with her. So that's it's a little obvious. Let's go into the gameplay and I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about her. So everyone, we decided to do an all ED bot sexy hot thing platinum game. So. Yes, we have four ED bots running around doing the little uh, sexy acrobatics, little, you know, melees, little kicks and backward spins and uh, front tucks and back tucks. And uh, pre pretty much that's <laughs> this is what she's all about. She's actually pretty awesome. And uh, in all honesty, uh, her movement is really something that makes her really, really great. I, I love the fact that she can go backwards, that she can do a little backflip and that is so good especially when you're fighting multiple enemies on platinum on gold anywhere because she can just back up she can back up from a situation she's not a turian she doesn't have to worry about you know dodging to the side she can dodge she can do some little side steps she can go backwards she can go forward she can and she has a little bit of a damage reduction with it as well so she's really really good when it comes to that so we we do quite a bit and i also like her melee by the way um i this is not a melee build i prefer more um i prefer more the shotgun build with her and kind of work her that way i i'm not exactly sure that I like the melee build on her too much, but I will have to play around with it a little bit and maybe show you guys some gameplay on that. Maybe on gold. Maybe I'll go down to gold and um, and see if I could, you know, have some fun with that and show you guys a little bit of that build. So I'm mostly focused on a weapons build with her right now, since you really don't have to worry about recharge speed. Uh, you know, her tactical cloak is really just going to be the same uh, speed it is regardless of whatever weapon you have and uh, the, on the only power that gets affected really is snap freeze so in all honesty guys I you know I really do like her as a melee build but not I, I, it's not it's not the kind of build that I would definitely go on platinum with this is more of a shotgun weapons build and that's what I truly recommend for her because she's actually really awesome and as you can see here guys we are actually having an amazing time uh, we're debuffing enemies with cryo blast which is exactly what you want to do um, and at the same time you're gonna wanna you know use your tactical cloak the way I do it is I cloak first then sh shoot my uh, my sap my snap freeze for the debuff and then immediately I'm shooting and just absolutely demolishing enemies now you see that we have four ED bots here so the gameplay the game is going a, a lot smoother than um, than you probably normally expect so it's a it's a lot of fun we, we definitely had a lot of fun now the difference between the reason I'm glad that I waited to put this gameplay as opposed to the gameplay that I had on the first night was because well, number one, it was on the it was on the Firebase White Hazard, and it was kind of hard to see things here. So that was number one. Number two, this gameplay is a lot better because you know I realized that I wasn't using Repair Matrix appropriately. I was having fun with it. I knew what it did, but I wasn't I wasn't really using it appropriately. So after, what I did is I took her for a little spin. I did a few um, you know platinum solo runs just to kind of test her against the. Uh, 
the, the biggest and baddest. And, um, well, I realized that the way you want to play her with her repair matrix is make sure that, especially on platinum or gold, you're going to want to use repair matrix anytime you're going to go either into a spawn or you know you're going to go into a situation where there are a lot of enemies. So, if you don't know what repair matrix does, it actually, it not only gives your shields back and it starts healing you immediately, regardless of you having your cloak on or not, uh, which is a great thing, by the way. Uh, it brings back your shields, brings back your health. The only thing about it is that uh, that if you actually die while the repair matrix is powered on, then she will be revived. It's it's an instant revive. So if you didn't know that, you know now you know, and you'll see that here. I actually I don't think I even wasted gel in this entire gameplay. I think maybe one, maybe I I don't even know. I don't remember, but. The one thing I do realize is that, you will realize, is that when I get down, she gets back up. So that's what Repair Matrix is about. Uh, you can actually use this character in pretty much any difficulty and ensure that you're going to survive. Well, that, see, that, that, that all depends as well. You also have to be skilled. You know, you have to make sure that you're just not going into uh, an entire spawn where there are tons of phantoms and just expect Repair Matrix to get you back up and going. Yeah, Repair Matrix will get you back up and going, but then they drop you again, and then you only have a limited amount of time before you can either get sink killed or use another, you know, another charge of Repair Matrix. So that's something to definitely be careful about. So on the previous gameplay, I wasn't really using it a lot. And over here, you notice that I actually do use it. I make sure that right before I am going to a spawn or I know I'm going to meet head-on enemies like Pyros or uh, Marauders that have a lot of DPS. Uh, and the Pyros obviously have a lot of damage over time. I make sure that I use it. Here we go. As you can see, guys, I, again... You know, I got hit, but my repair matrix brought me back up. So that's you know, that's a little bit of a difference on the, the gameplay that I had before. So she is really good, especially for you guys who are just starting to get into Platinum and you want to have a way to kind of get into it. And you're thinking, well, I'm, I'm a pretty decent player. I can rock gold, but I, you know, I still I want a way to be able to get in there and not have to worry too much. Yes, the Geth Juggernaut can do that for you, and the Geth, Geth Juggernaut is awesome. He's 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 amazing. We we all love him, but uh, this, the Edie Bot is also really really good. I mean, she's I mean she's not a she doesn't only have moves and looks, but she's actually uh, quite powerful. And with her tactical cloak bonuses, you can do an amazing amount of damage. Now, I have tried her out with the Venom Shotgun, and I have to tell you that I I really do love that gun. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a great gun. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting it to level 10. i got to be honest with you guys, I have been a little spoiled, because I usually, you know, like I, like I told you guys, I normally I have... Um, normally have a ton of credits before DLC and I was trying to do a few challenges and I didn't have enough I, I did build up uh, six million credits the, like a few days before the DLC and you guys saw that pack opening but you know normally I, I like to have at least 10 million 15 million and then just max out everything so yeah I'm a little bit of a spoiled brat when it comes to that and I'm a little upset that I don't have the Venom shotgun at a level 10 I think I have it at level 6 or 7 around there you guys saw it on the beginning so anyways what Whatever. So, <laughs> about that, uh, the Venom Shotgun is really, really good with her, and uh, when I was testing it out, I really enjoyed uh, the way it flows for her. She does have a good uh, damage bonus, not just with the Tactical Cloak, um, but also the debuff with her, her Cryo, uh, her Snap Freeze. So, in reality, pretty much any shotgun that you put with her... Uh, in I'm going to be honest with you, any weapon that you put on her, she's actually going to do quite, quite well. And that is the great thing about her. That's what I like about her, that she can actually uh, take... Uh, she, you can, she can take almost any weapon and make it sing and make it worthwhile because of Tactical Cloak bonuses. And she could also stay alive. So that's something that you guys may be interested, may actually uh, be curious about. And the other thing about her is, is her, are her stances, her, her backflips, uh, the fact that she can get in and out of situations quite easily and then get back up if she gets down. So here we go, guys. And I use the constantly, as you can tell. Anytime that I see that I'm going to be in a situation that's I'm being surrounded, it's a little hairy. And, you know, and this is the other thing. Look, I had a banshee surrounding me, but her stance, her her back flip, her front flip, front tuck, everything actually allowed me to get away from all that. So that is, uh, that's another thing. Now, guys, I did say something a little bit in the beginning. You know, every Tuesday, there are balance changes to this game. 
okay? And if I've heard that there's possibly going to be a nerf on her. And I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't feel that there's a need to be a nerf on her. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, her powers make sense to me. You know, I get it that she is very powerful. I get it that she has repair matrix, but so what? Like, it, it doesn't... It doesn't really do anything. I mean, it's it's totally fine. Her powers actually make sense to me. Like, I don't see a reason as to why she should be nerfed. I, I really don't see it. I'm gonna be honest. Hey, call me, call me lame. Call me a person who is not really thinking, you know, appropriately about this. But I see this character as a character that is actually helping people and get into like h higher difficulties and uh, have fun with it and at the same time survive a little bit. But even then, you still have to have skill. You can't just take this ED bot and go into a platinum game and expect to always be uh, doing well. You have to be able to play her right. You have to know how to play your shotgun right. You have to know how to take cover still. You have to be able to play your character correctly. And uh, I've seen other players who will play her, will use her, and still not do well, and still get down, and still have to use their meta gels all the time. And it, so it, it's it's all a matter of learning how to play the character. It's a matter of your skill. So in reality, in my in my thinking, I do not see a reason why she should get nerfed. But I. Hey, I wanted to warn you guys, there is a possibility of that. I don't necessarily know what the nerf will be, but I'm hoping that they change their mind about it and leave her alone. Because I personally do like her. I think she's absolutely awesome. And I think I want to do more gameplay with her, in, in, in all honesty. And yes, you know, she is an infiltrator. I understand that pretty much the infiltrator classes in... Um, in Mass Effect 3 are very powerful due to their tactical cloak bonuses. So that is, you know, that is absolutely true. Um, you know, they, their, her tactical cloak bonuses make her really, really powerful, but at the same time, not powerful enough that, uh, not powerful enough that I think that, you know, she def she needs some kind of nerf. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to talk about that anymore because I really, it frustrates me when I hear you know all the nerf you know nerf this nerf that so um, I'm just gonna get on with it now she is she is quite awesome guys and when you when you work her on on platinum and you get to like what we call the trash waves trash waves are those waves where there it's not a big boss man but it's mo mostly uh, uh, waves where a lot of phantoms or engineers or marauders and just just maybe one banshee but there there are absolutely no more bosses than that uh, this is one of those waves you're gonna want to have some other kind of weapon. I mean, if you're great, like for example, PC players can rock the Claymore because of the accuracy all the time. Don't get me wrong, I, I could actually do Claymore headshots on Phantoms, but it, I don't necessarily want to risk it all the time. So, you know, I use the Claymore and everything else, but but Phantoms, that's it. I'll take out my Acolyte for a Phantom, or I'll use the Scorpion Pistol for a Phantom. You know, I'll make sure that I'm using something just to stagger the Phantom and destroy them. I, you know, I don't really need to waste time and go right ahead and do that. But uh, what I do recommend, especially when you're playing Planet, to bring a, uh, bring a secondary weapon, uh, something that'll <laughs> that'll do th that to Phantoms. That's that that's the way I would go. So that's it, guys. You know, she's that's what she's about. She's an infiltrator. She gets back up. She is definitely amazing. She has great shotgun damage bonuses. And as you can see here, guys, if you get really, really good with her, really get good with your Claymore skills, really get good with your shotgun skills, you can be absolutely amazing with her. And I, in all honesty, I think this is uh, some of my best gameplay with her. Um, I will show you guys some more gameplay with her because I really would like to do something special um, with this character, per se. And uh, we'll see if it works out. Um, and I'll bring you guys a little, you know, some more gameplay with, uh, with this character. Now, she is really good with, uh, um, it, it, she's really good with mixing up with other characters. For example, those that have Incinerate. Um, and at the same time, if you're using ammo types like Incendiary Rounds, which is what I'm using here at the moment. Um, if you're using something like Incendiary Rounds, um, you can prime the enemies with the ammo type and then go right ahead and use your snap freeze to detonate it. So there are other things that you can do with her than just go right ahead and make her just a big weapons girl that she's going to run around and do that. Uh, and she's a great debuffer as well. So this is who she is, guys. She's really simple. She's absolutely amazing. She's a lot of fun. And there are a lot of jokes about her because obviously, you know, some people are calling her the sex bot or whatever. I mean, I'd rather not call her that. I'd rather not 
get all nasty about this and uh, get uh, get you guys uh, started and rolling on the things I should say and not say in, 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 uh, in this gameplay on the, the commentary. So, you know, I'm not even going to go there, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that. But moving on, the next character that I definitely want to show you guys is the Engineer. Now, I talked about it a little bit on the previous video with the Collector Adept, and um, I do have another build for the Collector Adept as well, which is uh, another uh, a powers build and another weapons build as well. I'm gonna I'm trying to decide what to show you guys next. Um, but the Engineer has been interesting. Uh, I recently found out that this coming Tuesday that there's there's a plan to buff him. And, they, you know, I'm thinking that maybe I might want to wait a little bit because I I find him to be decent um, when it comes to his trip mines, but his melee capabilities, his bow, I, I mean, everything about him right now is so niche and it's so not, it's not as interesting as I think uh, everybody else thought it would be. I mean, it looks really cool, don't get me wrong, his bow, and I, and I already know exactly how to play him. I, I I already did some gameplay and I've been I'm just debating whether I should upload that or wait till the the balance changes this Tuesday and show you guys new gameplay on the talent because there are gonna be there's gonna be a buff to him I'm I'm really positive about that but either way if any of you guys have any alternate builds or any builds that you guys may want to actually talk about let me know. Let me know about your builds for the talent, and I will work them out. I'll test them. I'll see what we can do, and uh, you know we'll go from there on it. But in, in all honesty, from what I can see so far, I see only about maybe two builds with him that really make sense. And um, and I've tried one out; has worked out quite well. The, the, the any build that though that depends only on his bows, it's it's just not a build that I think will really really works I, I think the development team needs to actually work on that and the buff that is gonna happen with him I don't know what the buff is I really hope that the buff is good and you know that that actually makes his arrows worth it because as of right now uh, they're only good for about really one thing that is it that that's all I can think of so yeah guys now I also want to talk about a few other things. You know, a lot of you guys have been asking about more speedrun videos. I have been thinking about doing more. Uh, there are other maps in the game that I have been thinking about, and, and um, you know I want to definitely do some speedruns on them. Um, I, <laughs> I, we do have the capability of doing speedrun videos on uh, maps like Rio, by the way. I know you guys are thinking, wow, that's a big map, Rio. But I think that I have to take out time to do Rio because... A lot of you guys are really messing up the game for Platinum, okay? Uh, sorry to say this, but you guys, you know, you guys need to change it up. I'm doing all these videos so that you guys can actually play Platinum, whether it's Pugs or not. Learn how to play together. Learn, you know, learn where the spawns are. Look at the gameplay. And I'm a little upset because I hear all the time that people are jumping on Platinum, and I've done it myself. I go into a random Platinum Pug game, and what am I finding? Real platinum hanging out in a box guys just stop it please uh, you know I started doing these videos specifically so that you guys would know how to play platinum so that you know exactly how to manage it I mean all my gameplay is platinum except a few games that I do gold so what does this mean this means that you can do it you don't have to be a super duper superstar player guys I'm not the super top number one you know Mass Effect player in the world I play with a lot of very good players you know, we get good teams, you know, and a lot of them have played with me quite a bit. And they've gotten so well that they understand the spawns. You know, they understand what's happening. Watch the gameplay. Look at it. Look at what we're doing. You know, look at the waves that we're, we're nuking, that we're doing these kind of things. And, um, you know, and this is not a speed run. This, this is just traditional games. You know, speed runs are obviously shorter. You know, they're, they're, they're 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 8 minutes, whatever records we go for. And I'm definitely going to do a, a real platinum speed run game because if you guys I mean you guys are really into doing the whole real thing switch it up do something different just play the game and if you actually want to play a uh, real platinum I mean make it easy hey I have an old video on real platinum that still works so you could actually hang out if you want to camp then you know what go ahead and camp by the LZ 
But anyways, I, you know, I just had to have a little rant because it's like this is the reason why I started doing these videos so that you guys can handle platinum. That you could play platinum as if it was gold. Yes, I know you're thinking, yeah, my skill level's not up there, Invader. I get it. You know, I get that. But if if I go and search for a platinum game and I see Rio all the time, that is so frustrating because it means that you're not having fun. It means that you're hanging out in a little box, wasting your time. So I definitely recommend check out the speed run videos. Check out the other videos that I have on, on, on every other map. The build videos. Any videos that I have on game platinum gameplay because it's all platinum. And see that, hey guys, you, you can actually manage it. And you can do it with randoms. You can play around with randoms. Just understand the spawns. Understand spawn control. Where do you stand in the beginning of a wave? All right, so those are things that I just wanted to say because, listen, we have all these great new characters. We got this Edie bot, you know, she was made to handle, she can handle platinum. She has no fitness, and look, she is absolutely going around, raping the entire map, <laughs> just kicking butt. So, in, in, in reality, in all honesty, you know, I recommend that you guys start looking at, you know, how to play the game. Uh, and, and really start working that way. And if you know what, if this, and, and you know, I'm not really prideful of what I do here. I, I'm proud of uh, as a person, but I'm not saying, you know, I got the best videos, I got the best commentary, I got the best everything. No, but I definitely recommend if you have people who are still doing the real platinum thing, you know what, bring them to my videos because I, I, in all honesty, we don't want to make platinum that kind of thing it platinum is not a farming thing i play platinum all the time and it's just it to me it's gold this is what i do i get more credits i play it's more difficult for me uh more challenging than um than than doing gold i love gold don't get me wrong gold is great i love it i think it's really awesome it's very easy you know you can get in there you can kill enemies but you guys can do platinum look we have the ed bot here she's awesome she's sexy she's got kicks she can slap a phantom in the face bring her platinum do it. We have four ED bots. Have fun. Bring even if you're in a random lobby, go right ahead and do it. Okay guys? So that's all I had to say about that. I had to say it because I'm noticing a little of that trend with the whole real platinum farming and that's fine if you want to do that. But I would like you guys to have fun. I need you guys to have fun because in all honesty that's what makes a game that's why we play this game, right? To have fun. And if you're just hanging out in a little corner of the box, you're not taking advantage, full advantage of what your character can do of what you can do in the gameplay and in all honesty I believe that you guys can do better and you can do more look at this gameplay right now we have four ED bots running around doing it yes it's very hard to get randoms to do anything but at the same time if you look at the map and you know what you're doing you're able to actually do very very well on platinum and even if for whatever reason somebody actually has a mic you could actually instruct them and help them out uh, my recommendation is to find friends either way guys this is the ED bot she's absolutely amazing rocker user taker in a platinum and invade one out.